Amphibia! Sprite me. This episode um, was something that I kind of teased uh, last week. I wanted to review this episode uh, regardless of what my opinion was because I had an interesting opinion about this couple that I had heading into this episode. Not too sure if this episode has changed that opinion or not, because honestly, I'm not too sure what I just watched. <laughs> I had to actually, uh, this is actually my third time recording this. I originally recorded this video, I don't know, maybe about like one in the morning. In the M hours. And here I am recording in the PIM hours. But yeah, this episode is, um, well, it's, it's a, it's a Sprig and Ivy episode. That's really what this episode really, honestly, truthfully does boil down to. There is a little bit of expository dialogue, uh, from Anne about, like, whatever they're doing and about, like, what the whole point of this is. But really, it boils down to, go here, destroy these two things. And of course, they pick Sprig and Ivy to be one of the people to be selected to be in that little operation there. Once Sasha splits them up, they like, uh, I don't know, they get like, uh, they, they get all sad. They're like, I, will never, I won't see you again for like 20 minutes. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> I should probably go and explain what my problem with this kind of is. I'm just going to let you know, guys. This is an all right episode. Honestly, I'd say it's even good. Mainly because of the jokes. Like, there's a Peanuts-related gag. There's um, a few gags relating to uh, Sprig and Ivy that are just really, really funny. I don't know if that was the writer's intention to make those moments funny. But, uh, I mean, I laughed. I hope it was, because otherwise that was the most dramatic thing I've ever seen on this show. <laughs> My take on Sprig and Ivy, though, as a couple, because uh, I think I teased that a little bit in the last review as well, is, um, well, we, we've seen Sprig and Ivy quite a bit in the series. I would say we've seen it. And, um, this is part of my wish to have more Sprivy episodes and to have more Sprig and Ivy related stuff. And am I kind of happy we got this in some weird way? Yes, kind of, somewhat. Even though it's not really what I was expecting. Especially because this damn episode kind of just slaps you right in the face with a lot of the stuff that just comes out of complete nowhere for these two. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I I've never seen Sprig and Ivy act like this to a certain extent. It was always just like... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up? And then people go, oh, that's, that's what it was. <laughs> now they're holding hands, which they have done. They have done that before. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to you. That isn't something new. But, like, they're holding hands. They have a couple dance. They have, apparently, according to Spring, they have, like, multiple. <laughs> like, where was all this? Where did this all come from? What happened? Especially since this is Amphibia we're talking about. A show which takes the littlest, minute detail and puts it inside of an episode for it to come into play later. Do I think it was charming? A little. But it honestly just made me more confused than anything else. I mean, yeah, the jokes work. And it's just like one of those things where it's like, it just doesn't, it didn't feel, it just felt weird. It felt off. Something about it just felt odd. The humor is still there. The humor, like the like the Andreas Pinata, that's still there. That's hilarious. I thought that was funny as hell. <laughs> and even the story itself is fine enough for what it is. And I understand why they're doing it, guys. I understand. They want to make this plot work. They do. And they did a good job at pacing the certain moments I'm talking about with Sprig and I. They did a good job at pacing them. Ah... It's just really, really weird. This episode just, it just feels so strange. In a funny, sort of weird way. Not in a bad, horrible way. Just thought I'd make that clear. But even for this show, that's odd. That's weird. Like that, I, I did not expect that. I mean, points for originality, I guess. Because I don't think I've seen an episode, another episode like that. And I know people are saying this is like briefer episode. I'm not saying that's filler. I'm saying that the episode 
I honestly would have been fine with like a typical episode where it's like, oh, Sprig and Ivy want to hang out. And maybe uh, something gets in the way or something prevents that from happening. And so they have to devise a plan, much like the actual you know, synopsis says. They have to devise a plan in order to get back to where they're able to be together and hang out or do whatever it is. The problem really is just that I, I, I just don't really feel like I, I, I care about this couple, which is unfortunate. I love Sprig. I think Sprig is great. He's my favorite character in the entire show. I think Ivy is amazing. She's one of my favorite uh, side characters. But ever since dating season, I've looked at Sprig and Ivy as a friend thing. That's what I've looked at Sprig and Ivy as. Yes, I know the elephant in the room of people think that Sprig was like hinting at it or like people think that, you know, whatever. And of course the ending, of course the ending. But I don't, I don't know. I just, aside from them being like cute, charming, and that's all, th that's really what this <laughs> gimmick is for this relationship, which is unfortunate. I think this episode's fine for what it is. I think this episode is, like I said, it's all right. I, 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 it's fine. This episode had me laughing like crazy. It was fun. I definitely think this is probably one of the weakest amphibia episodes for me personally. Unfortunately, that I, I, I cannot believe I'm even saying that. I am so sorry, Spring and Ivy. I'm so sorry I'm saying that. What I thought was going to perhaps answer my criticism or answer my call for, I guess, more Ivy and Sprig stuff that, I don't know, just, uh, I guess, makes me care about these characters. About their relationship, for that matter. I care about the characters. I just don't really care about the relationship that they're in. It's never really, I just kind of shrugged, like, oh, okay, they're dating. Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, Sprivey's all right. I um, told you my opinion on the couple as a whole. Like, I was going to do regardless of my opinion of this episode. I was going to do that regardless. Like I said, I don't hate these two characters at all. I, I don't really necessarily hate the relationship either. I just feel like I should care more about it. But I just don't, man. There's nothing really here to really, really warrant me, like, caring for this couple. Aside from the fact that they just did, like, funny jokes. That's it. I really do think whatever would have been in that in that weird little synopsis that I created as like a prediction, I guess, before I even watched this episode about just like, oh, Sprig and Ivy want to hang out and like the war gets in the way or something like that gets in the way. Maybe maybe like they try to go outside and like they tell them like you can't go outside because there's dangerous robots all over the place or whatever. And they're like, I just want to go outside. Blah. Maybe, um... Maybe, like, Ivy, like, rebels against it or something. Something like that. I don't know. And then they get, like, uh, by a robot. That was another thing, too, I liked about this episode. They did, like, an ambush-related joke. That was funny. I like that. That was, that was, that was good. That was good little, good little things. You gotta get all your show references out of the way. It's the, it's the final push. Gotta get all those show references out of the way. But, yeah, just something like that. Like, a robot ambushing them. And then, like, either Sprig has to save Ivy or Ivy has to save Sprig. Ever know? You know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it would be. But it would be a nice heartfelt episode to at least kind of, I guess, put into motion. Yes, they're dating. Yes, you should care. That's just me, though. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed please please like, comment, subscribe to me. Awesome. Of course, guys, I see you guys for video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And goodbye, everybody. I will see you guys soon. It was all right. It was good for what it was. It's an amphibia episode. There's a lot of good jokes. There's a lot of good humor. There's a lot of good writing. It's fine. Just unfortunately, one of the weaker episodes for me personally from the show that I have seen. But uh, yeah, take care, everyone.